What's up everybody and welcome back to Sunny Tech 2.0. Sunny here and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a couple of things on your Roku device uh, like clearing cache and downloading new software updates. It's very important to do this once in a while at least uh, I would recommend once every three months or so. I personally do it every month but you can do it however you want depending on how your device is uh, running. So what this does is one, it's gonna keep you running on the uh, newest uh, software for the device itself, which it improves bugs, or is if there are any issues you're having, whether it's be, you know, uh, buffering, things like that. So we're gonna go over a couple of things. One's we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to clear a cache in this. Uh, we'll download updates and a couple of things we can tweak to make it better. So before we get started into the video, guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that like button, like the video, uh, share it with your friends and family, and all the content we have, a lot of free content that we go over, some are ad supported. Uh, so today is gonna be a quick tutorial. So let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is, now this is we're gonna start off with clearing cash. So we're gonna hit the home button, which is the picture of a house. Just go ahead and hit that. And once you're on the main screen, you're going to hit the home button five times. And once you hit the home button five times, you're going to hit up. And then you're going to hit the rewind button two times. All right. So we're going to do home button five times, up, rewind button two times, and fast forward two times. So I'm going to do it again because I forgot to fast forward. So let's go again. So home button five, up. We're gonna do rewind twice and then fast forward twice. All right, so now it's doing its own thing. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna go ahead, it's frozen, see it's not doing anything. So it takes about uh, 15 to 20 seconds. It's clearing out all the cache. I can't move anything on my device right now. And once it's done, we will be get control back. So we'll give it a couple of seconds. So that's one way to do it on your either Roku TV or your um, Roku sticks as well. You could do it the same way. There's another alternate way to do it. There we go. So now it's going to reset it. So now what it's doing is actually clearing all the cache. Reset it automatically. So you'll, you'll get the same thing. So let me repeat it while this is loading up. So it's the home button. You're going to press it five times, like one, two, three, four, like that rhythm. Hit the up button, rewind button twice, and then fast forward twice. Give it about 15 to 20 seconds. It's going to do reboot like this. So it's loading up. It's going to start it up. Now it's clearing everything up here. And once it's done, it'll load it up. Boom. And let's see the response time. Yeah, feel like, okay, all right. So it's better. I did this before too, so it's, mine's pretty quick to begin with. So next, and keep in mind, I have an old device on this. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and check for see if there's any uh, software updates. Obviously, I already did it. Mine's updated. I know, but just to show you guys. So we're gonna go to uh, let's see settings. Uh, go up. We're gonna go to settings, and then we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go all the way down to system and then we're gonna go down to software updates okay so we're gonna hit that and then once you get to here I'm on for mine it's 14.5.4 you're gonna hit where it says check make sure you're on that and then hit the OK button and what it'll do is it'll check for any new uh, software that's available it'll automatically update it and matter of fact mine actually updated uh even it was an app update it did it automatically when i checked for this i don't know if that, that was weird or not but you can check it so if you do need any updates it'll do it automatically and once that's done you don't have to reset it you don't have to do anything you can just go and hit the home button now the last thing we're gonna just to show you how to get to the uh, update part uh or you can rewind the window but just real quick you're gonna go down to settings Go right, go down to system, easy enough, go right, and then go down to software update, hit the OK button, and hit the OK button again, and it's going to check it. Now, the last thing you could do is, uh, if you did all of this and you're still having some issues or buffering issues, uh, what you could do is you can actually, it's always good to once in a while, toggle off your Wi-Fi and toggle it back on. Sometimes that actually helps it. So the way you do that is you go to settings 
and go to your Wi-Fi and then right where it says connection, check connection, you can hit that and it'll just reboot it. Uh, you can turn the toggle it on and off or you can do a run a test on it too. That's pretty much it guys. And this will improve your device, make it faster for you. Hopefully it works. If it does, leave a comment below. If you knew how to do this, also leave a comment below how, how often you do it yourself. And uh, like, share, and subscribe to the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.